what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today i wanted to talk about some call of duty specifically i wanted to discuss something that's actually blatantly obvious and unfortunately will most likely continue despite the new era of gaming beginning with the new console soon i wanted to talk about the art of reusing content when it comes to these games but before we even get too far into that please do me that favor like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications in the background you are watching my last gameplay of black ops 4 i have since deleted the game to prepare to make that jump to next gen i know it's backwards compatible obviously but where's the fun in that it's old it's great but it's finally time to put it on the shelf for good i'm rambling so i'm not really going to keep on it i'm just going to go ahead and jump into the discussion of the day so call of duty black ops cold war is dropping on november 13th it will be released with 10 maps in total if the leaks are true obviously which at this point honestly let's be real the game comes out in two days they are true two of the maps will be for fire team and eight of the maps will be standard multiplayer 6v6 maps to be completely honest for a start that isn't many maps i was actually expecting a lot more and am still kind of upset that we're still making 6v6 maps but nevertheless that's what we're getting so for all my people out there who are actually upset about this go ahead and suck it up buttercup because because this is what we're getting speaking of the map the game hasn't even been released yet and there's already leaks associated with them bringing back old maps obviously it makes sense and worked for black ops 4 so why not do it again this time around gg's activision on innovation and a good marketing play honestly sarcasm for the win this is a terrible idea and unfortunately it goes directly against any kind of innovation going into the next gen consoles we already know that nuketown 1984 is coming back and definitely firing range will be there at one point as well maybe even this time summit can be fun just don't bring back that flooded jungle map that bs was bad like that map was absolutely terrible so don't, don't bring that back you'll be all right until you bring that back but anyway the point of it is is that it's obviously a double down effect in place when it comes to these games that these developers and publishers are not afraid to reuse content and assets over and over and over and market them as new or innovative or, or progressive. No, it's the same thing. Activision are making money off content that was already released many, many years ago. They call the maps new, they reskin them, or maybe add like a texture pack to them to make them look a little bit better, and then bam, they profit off of them without none to worry. And it's been basically the cycle moving forward in these last couple of games. That's what they've been doing. I say all that because I truly believe that this will also be the case when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I believe that the series as a whole has moved in the direction where standard multiplayer is taking a back seat and things like Warzone or Fireteam is starting to become the forefront of the franchise. Don't get me wrong, Warzone is great and Fireteam is all right, but think about the assets used to create Warzone. They aren't new. There are certain aspects of the map that are new, but the majority of the assets used are recycled in some form or fashion. And as a result, I believe that fire team will actually be the same way unfortunately it's basically coming down to it that we are in a day and age where gaming is no longer about innovation about creating an experience for a person to enjoy it's more about profitability and long-term gains they tried it with the loot boxes they continue to try it with microtransactions in games for example look at the marvel avengers game that came out all that game is is a bona fide money machine luckily i saw the writing on the wall and didn't buy it but if, if you did i'm so sorry for you because that game is literally just a money machine all they want you to do is pay into these microtransactions and get these skins or chances for these skins or whatever the case may be and it's terrible it's truly truly terrible this is where we are and that's the overall point when it comes to reusing content or microtransactions loot boxes etc this is a thing this actually took off i remember back in the day when we were fighting this but i believe at this point we've actually lost that fight and it's actually here in some form of fashion because if you think about it these publishers are not Enemy pushing the innovation they're pushing profit margins they're saying hey look if this game sells we don't care what's in the game we don't care about the quality we don't care about the gamers we care about the money we care about the profitability over a set amount of time hence why you see all this content being reused or reskinned or resold or having battle passes within battle passes or season passes only for 
for certain characters within games, etc., etc. Unfortunately, when it comes to this kind of like topic of discussion, the publishers actually have all the power. Because if you think about it, if you're a dev and you're trying to develop a game and they say no, but yes, if you reuse this content, of course you're gonna reuse the content. You're gonna try to get your game, your message out there to the masses so that you can make a little bit of money and feed your family. I can't really blame them, but again, this is where we're at. And it will be more beneficial for you to accept it going forward. Moving on though, as we all transition into the next generation of games via the new console, just know the age of the gamer is dead. And no matter what, at the end of the day, if these publishers can get away with reusing content for the low low, when it comes to the cost, they will definitely push that route every single time. That's about it for me. Like I said, I just wanted to jump on here and talk to you all as we approach the eve of the new generation coming out. What do you all think? Have you noticed this trend? Will you be buying into it? Let me hear about it down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell for notifications of new uploads. I appreciate all of you out there in YouTube land, and I will definitely see you on the next one.